I'm Amit Marotra, Global Product Manager for Organic and Peptide Synthesis Products at Biotage. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the tip synthesis option for the Syra range of peptide synthesizers. Tip synthesis is an option for applications that require large numbers of peptides in small quantities. And these are normally synthesized in one to five micromole scale. Each tip synthesis module can be used to synthesize up to 96 peptides at a time. And each peptide is synthesized in a 0.4 mil tip with a PE frit. So accurate dispensing of reagents is essential. The Syra 1 system can accommodate one tip synthesis module. The Syra 2 system can accommodate three tip synthesis modules. And there is also a custom six tip synthesis module system as well. So that means you can synthesize up to 576 peptides all at the same time. Here's the tip synthesis module containing 96 tips. And now I'm going to show you how it all works together. There are three main modules involved in tip synthesis. The resin dispenser set, the synthesis module, and the cleavage module. The first step is to transfer the 96 tip reactors to the reactor holder plate. And this can easily be achieved by placing the reactor cover plate over the box of 96 tip reactors and then turning upside down. Carefully remove the empty box that contains the tip reactors taking care not to knock over any of the tip reactors. Now place the reactor holder plate over the tip reactors and press firmly and then turn upright again. You're now ready to start. The next step is to load the tip reactors with your chosen resin and this is easily performed using the resin dispenser set. The resin dispenser set consists of a base plate and three different sized measuring plates, a resin spatula and a movement stopper. The different size measuring plates determine the quantity of resin dispensed into each tip reactor, which is also dependent on the type of resin used and the respective resin loading. Weigh the empty tip reactors and note the weight. You can either use the whole block or take the average weight of three empty tip reactors. Next, fit the base plate onto the tip reactors. Select the measuring plate that's appropriate for the amount of resin needed for your synthesis and place the measuring plate inside the base plate. The measuring plate should be moved to the left. This is the closed position where the mouth of the tip reactors are closed off. And then insert the movement stopper on the right side. This secures the closed position. Now pour your resin into the measuring plate and distribute the resin into the holes of the measuring plate by scraping with the resin spatula. Remove the movement stopper and move the measuring plate to the right. This is the open position and then an equal amount of resin will drop into each of the tip reactors. Now weigh the tip reactors again to calculate the average quantity of resin dispensed into each of the tip reactors. Now that the resin has been dispensed, the tip reactor block is placed in the syropeptide synthesizer onto the valve plate of the synthesis module. The program synthesis is then executed, which allows the amino acids and reagents involved in the synthesis to be automatically dispensed as programmed. In tip synthesis, all coupling steps employ preactivation, and it is recommended to perform double couplings. Due to the small size of the tip reactors, no vortex mixing is applied. However, mixing is achieved during the preactivation process, and hence a preactivation rack is included as part of the synthesis module. For the Syra 2, the left arm dispenses the reagents for synthesis, including preactivation, while the right arm, with three tip wash comb, is used for dispensing piperidine, DMF, and wash solvents. As each peptide is synthesized in a 0.4 mil tip, with 96 peptides in a tip reactor block, accurate and fast dispensing of reagents and solvents is essential. Once the program synthesis is completed and the peptidyl resins in the tip reactors have been washed and dried in readiness for cleavage, cover the tip reactors with the reactor cover plate and remove the whole reactor rack from the syrosynthesizer and transfer it to the blind plate on the cleavage module. The cleavage module consists of blind plate and reactor cover plate, vacuum box containing 96 deep well plate, ether aspirator dispenser, a tip workbench where the cleavage module accessories are handled. For cleavage, add approximately 170 microliters of the TFA cleavage cocktail to each tip reactor in the blind plate. 
the blind plate closes the outlets of the reactors and prevents the reactors from emptying. Cover the tip reactors with the reactor cover plate and then cleave the peptidyl resins for the desired amount of time. Normally two hours. While the cleavage step is in progress, the transfer box can be prepared. Place the deep well plate inside the transfer box and connect the outlet to a vacuum source. After the cleavage step, the reactor rack is moved onto the transfer box, which contains the 96 deep well plate. The transfer box is connected to a vacuum source and the tip reactors are emptied into the deep well plate. After cleavage, additional TFA can be added to the resin and again moved back onto the transfer box. Please note the maximum volume per well of the deep well plate is 2.4 mils. The deep well plate is then moved to the aspirator dispenser. In dispenser mode, it is connected to a bottle containing ether or ether pentane in order to precipitate the peptides. 2 mils of ether or ether pentane is dispensed to the TFA cleavage solution in the deep well plate. After spinning the deep well plate, the aspirator is now connected to a vacuum source and adjusted to the correct height for removal of the supernatant. Remove the supernatant from the tip reactors starting from the top by slowly pressing down on the aspirator dispenser, being careful not to disturb the peptide pellets contained in the deep well plate. After three ether or ether pentane washes, the peptidyl precipitate can be dissolved in, for example, 5% acetic acid water and then transferred into other vessels and dried for future use. Thanks for watching and to learn more about Syro tip synthesis and the Syro peptide synthesizers go to biotage.com.